Selena Gomez is taking a break from show business to focus on herself and dealing with a little bit of anxiety and depression after her diagnosis with lupus. So this was reported to People Magazine. She says, quote, as many of you know, around a year ago, I revealed that I have lupus, an illness that can affect people in different ways. I've discovered that anxiety, panic attacks, and depression can be side effects of lupus, which can present their own challenges. I want to be proactive and focus on maintaining my health and happiness and have decided that the best way forward is to take some time off. Thank you to all my fans for your support. You know how special you are to me, but I need to face this head on to ensure I am doing everything possible to be my best. I know I am not alone by sharing this. I hope others will be encouraged to address their own issues. So, you know, um, this is sad for me, obviously, as a huge Selena Gomez fan, but also um, I think I'm happy that she's taking the time to focus on herself. I think it's so important. Um, uh, lupus is an autoimmune disease. It's, it's, she's facing something really difficult. We can only, uh, as two people that don't have lupus, and honestly, I don't even know that much about the disease. We can only imagine what she must be going through, but I just think it just shows how mature she is um, to take some time to focus on herself. But yeah, Hassan, this bummed me out. I um, miss her. What are, what are you going to do to help Selena get through this tough time? Well, me specifically. Me specifically. Are you, gonna write a, you should write her a song about lupus as your alter, your alter ego, Zemler. No, it's also Semler. Um, Zemler. Anyway, uh, no, I, I think that what we can do as fans to Selena Gomez is, you know, just to be supportive. There were some reports saying that she was having a mental breakdown and that this was uh, her, she was just kind of putting up this front and just saying that it was lupus, which is obviously bullshit. Um, so I think that if you want to support Selena Gomez right now, it would be uh, to respect her privacy um, and I guess just to to send her lots of positive vibe and love. I, I think her Instagram is and still going to be up. And stop tagging her in Justin Bieber's photos. Oh wait, you can't do that. Justin Bieber deactivated his Instagram. Yeah. But still, Grace. Yeah, yeah, no, Grace, I, I've never done that. But stop tagging her in Justin Bieber photos. No, I've actually tagged her in my own photos. Um, but I, I will only now do that if they are really positive. Photos and um, guys also send your love to Grace because she's obviously also going through a tough time. This is a tough time for me. You know, we, we talked about uh, Britney Spears earlier this week on the show and uh, how her her lingering um, effect in the pop culture consciousness and it you it makes me think of 2007. Britney Spears obviously she wasn't dealing with an autoimmune disease, but she went through something. She had a total breakdown in the public eye, and it just makes me grateful that I am so invested in a pop culture personality and a singer and a celebrity and an actress in Selena Gomez who is taking time for herself so that- Quadruple threat. Right. Um, but I just think that it's good that she is taking time for herself to focus on dealing with such a serious uh, illness. I think it's good that she's also using, and I we talk about this all the time, but I think she's good that she's using uh, this as an opportunity to kind of, uh, you know, broaden people's horizons a little bit and make them aware about lupus. Just like you said, yeah. you don't even know what lupus is, right. and you've learned more about it right. as, because of uh, Selena Gomez in this instance. Yeah, that's a really good point, and I also think that using the word anxiety and depression, sometimes that can be associated with a stigma, that it's you should be embarrassed if you are dealing with depression, uh, that you like therapy is weird and only people that are crazy uh, you know, get therapy. And I, I like that she's talking openly about the fact that, yeah, she's dealing with anxiety. Yeah, she's dealing with depression. I have dealt with both of those things as well. And I have been in therapy. And I think it's great that we can just kind of tear down a little bit of stigma. So whenever there is someone in a position of power with a platform that they have, um, and they're using it to spread awareness and just to make everyone a little bit more compassionate towards each other. I celebrate that. So this story made me sad, but it also made me proud that I have been such a selenator for so long. Is that what the proper uh, There's term so is? many fan a selenator? terms. Selenator? I think it's selenator, but I've only That's seen it really written on Instagram. Weird, posts, that's a so really weird uh, way to describe yourself as a fan. Wait, what is it? Is it supposed to be like a Terminator blocking thing? Blocking out the hate. Oh um, my God. I'm just your kidding. Shades on. All right, so uh, do you have any parting thoughts for Selena saying goodbye to showbiz? No, good on you, Selena. We, uh, we're going to welcome you back with open arms, I think. I'm not the biggest Selena Gomez fan, but I appreciate that she did that. Yes, I do appreciate that. I also am And I also feel bad. Makes me even more upset that I didn't go see her on tour 
have. But you got a T-shirt. I got have multiple the... T-shirts, but I haven't seen her on tour yet. So I hope that she gets better and comes back stronger than ever um, because I would love to go to a concert. But let us know in the comment section below, uh, what do you think about Selena Gomez taking a break from show business? Have you seen her in concert? Was it amazing? Should I be regretting my decision not to go because I'm a cheap whore? Uh, whoops, sorry. Uh, where did that come that from? Just Don't, even... I know, out of nowhere, I'm sorry, I'm just upset. I'm a cheap whore and I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> guys, Selena. guys, guys, share some love with Selena in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Sam Piker. I'm Grace Baldridge. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.